Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Taurus. How are you guys, Taurus? Hope all's well. So this reading is your next date. What you need to know. Ooh, all tied up. <laughs> and so this is like the justice card contract and the thinking a woman. Hmm. This could be yourself, could be another person. Someone's definitely doing some thinking. It has to do with whether someone's right for them or not. We have a person looking at things from a different perspective. This is like the hanged man energy. Yeah, putting the shoe on the other foot. Taking a little pause. <laughs> yeah, someone's thinking about whether someone's right for them. Maybe think about marriage or commitment. Let's see where this is going. Taurus. Yeah, we have the night of inspiration. So we have someone who's feeling inspired, definitely moving quickly. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Okay, it's just somebody who's coming in feeling inspired. Often it's because we have someone who's physically, they're physically attracted. They're definitely somebody who's not afraid of going after what they want. It's also a person who moves very quickly. <laughs> So let's see, whatever they are, they're coming in. Yeah, I see the nine of emotion. This is an energy of someone's doing some thinking, playing it safe, being a little cautious. Someone's a little careful what they wish for with this person. But it's saying to look at things from a different perspective, okay? Yeah, look at things different. This person may actually be right, okay? They may, it has to do with someone coming in right. Nothing wrong with coming in this way. But I do see someone here, you know, kind of being cautious here. Yeah, Ten of material has to do with feeling safe and secure, whether someone's stable. Okay, yeah. This could be a place where you're at, too, a place where you go. Well, the Ten of Materials is, you know, long-term. It's partnering up. You know, that's where I feel it's someone looking at this. You're thinking whether this is someone you maybe want to partner up with. Okay. Yeah, but it, you know, it is about financial stability, but this is also often a place where people go where they spend money. So this could be someone who comes on a little fast, a little strong. <laughs> yeah. And we have the three of inspiration. So we have someone kind of waiting here, kind of just waiting, looking at things from a different perspective. Yeah, so I do see the energy of the Three of Cups. Some of you could have a choice. There could be a choice between a couple people. But it looks like a date or some kind of social event. You know, really, you know, often this is an energy of someone who um, comes in pretty fast here. So I don't think you're going to have to wait very long for this person to... Um, you know, ask you out to connect. You may have a couple of dates with this person. You know, they will introduce you there. I feel this is someone who will introduce you to their friends and family fairly quickly. I don't think you're going to have to wait too long here. No, but I, like I say, while you're doing that little waiting, it's a very short period of time. Uh, so you're going to look to see if this is someone you're maybe interested in, if you see yourself with this person, okay? So I do see some thinking, definitely. Yeah. So I do see this as someone who start things pretty quick. I see a lot of happiness, emotional fulfillment. This is someone pretty positive, you know, high vibrational energy. But I do feel some of you, if you have rushed into a situation before, you might be, you know, kind of thinking about that. But I don't think you're going to have to wait very long for this person to bring you into their social circle. Now, they're, they're definitely there's a physical attraction. I see a passionate new beginning. Yeah, but I mean, this may not be the one for you. I feel like you're kind of looking at it here. Taurus. Yeah, I do see a little Leo energy. Yeah, see, weighing the pros and the cons. Should I or shouldn't I? Is this the one? Yeah. I I feel they're attracted. Um, yeah, I actually feel I see happiness and joy. It's somebody new. I feel. Yeah. 
Yeah, Queen of Voices, yeah, see, you're going to be discerning. So often when the Queen of Swords comes out, it's someone who's been hurt before. So you're a little, you know, maybe questioning things. I see back and forth in your head a little, maybe procrastinating a bit. Maybe you're comparing them to someone else too. Someone who came in quick maybe didn't, you know, stick around. But you never know till you try. Because I really feel like you won't have to wait, wait long for this person to... Um, they move quickly. Like this is someone who will, you know, bring you into their social circle. Might even, in, you know, they this person may see you as the one too. But yeah, I don't know what's got you thinking here. Tell me about the thinking woman. Yeah, a little reminiscing about someone from the past. Yeah, see, someone who rushed in quick. Things happening pretty fast here. See, there it is. It's an energy of reminiscing about past love, past choices, your path in life and your love life. But yeah, it does look like some of you could be, you know, longing for love. But like I say, I feel as though you're just either comparing this person or, you know, back and forth, should I or shouldn't I? Yeah, tell me about this night of inspiration. The Knight of Wands. It's a dating, it's a courting kind of energy. Yeah, so definitely, see, some of you have got some choices. You may have a choice. You may have a couple people. But if you are reminiscing or thinking about a past relationship with somebody who, you know, kind of came in very quickly and then didn't st stick around and left you waiting, you may be thinking twice. Because I do see you being very... Uh, cautious, a little careful what you wish for here. See, but I, it's telling you to look at things from a different perspective. Okay, not everybody moves through their world the same. But I do see, you know, a, a friendship, connecting, talking. Let's have a look. See, some of you never got something you wanted in the past. That's what I feel. You didn't get what you wanted, you see. Yeah, but I see a situation coming to fruition. I feel this person will introduce you to their friends and family. In fact, I feel they're in, probably in a hurry to do so. Yeah, I do see, I see positive change. Now, this could be someone coming back around, but it's also an energy of, of um, change here. I feel it's just an energy of change coming. Yeah, see, this is yourself, a little change of perspective. Am I taking a lot little moment? Yeah, I don't feel like it's someone coming back around. I feel more like you're comparing them to someone. You know, definitely see the longing for love. Some of you want love, but you say when it comes towards you, uh, then there's that thinking. See, it's an energy of being patient, hoping this pays off, but being cautious. I feel like you're going to play it safe. Definitely see you being, you know, questioning, discerning, you know, putting some thought into this. Back and forth. <laughs> Let's have a look. If it's not you, it's the other person. There's somebody here with Libra or Gemini uh, energy, or it's just in your chart. Let's have a look at this Pisces energy, though. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, so we have the King of Swords. Yeah, see, this is someone here also doing some thinking here. Uh-huh. They're analyzing the situation putting the shoe on the other foot and looking at how the other person feels. So I do feel there's somebody here that's quite thoughtful. If it is a person coming back around, I guarantee you they see things different. So, but I, I feel it's just an energy of, of change coming here. Some of you have changed. Something may have changed you forever too. If you had a person who rushed in and kept on going. Tell me about that world. Oh, that's coming right out. Yeah, we got someone in their feelings. Someone's in their feelings here. Yeah, this could be a friend too who's starting to, their feelings are changing. Because <laughs> I do see a friendship. So if you have someone around you, they're thinking about you too. Maybe it's both of you are thinking about each other. This could be someone that, you know, you've known for a long time. Mm-hmm. What is this King of Cups up to? What are they up to? Yeah, they're definitely releasing things that no longer serve. So they're definitely not somebody who's rushing in, rushing out. If that, if it is that, this energy of someone coming around. But I also feel this is a person who, you know, is loving themselves first, knows their worth and value. This is their hopes and dreams. So 
Yeah, this is somebody with some hopes and dreams here. This is also someone who could be popular too. They could be very popular. They may get a lot of attention. Uh, somebody here, maybe even quite well known, the star. <laughs> someone with a lot of friends and family. This is definitely a person I feel who really will look to see if someone's right, if they fit within their friends and family. So I feel we've got two people kind of thinking of the same thing here. Let's have a look at this Three of Wands energy. Why is this here? Yeah, Three of Wands. See, it's two people just kind of waiting. I don't know if this if there's a place where you go, where you socialize, hang out, where you shop, a park, or a place where you go, have a drink or a coffee. Um, you know, this person may be going to these places, uh, hoping to... Um, you know, run into you because that's what it looks like here. Yes, I definitely some Aquarius, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra for air signs. Yeah, I I feel like there's unrequited love here. That's what it's telling me. There's unrequited love. This is someone who's releasing things that no longer serve. They're definitely gone through some kind of change. I see change for the better. This is someone who adores you. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> I feel there's something mutual between two people. This friendship, this connection. If it is a person coming back around, they're definitely coming in high vibrational, very positive. Others of you, if you, like I say, while you're waiting, you may have another person too. So we have someone who's confident. See, somebody who's high vibrational. They're very confident. Also very kind and compassionate. So I like that. Let's have a look at this three of emotion. I think you're just going to have a few dates with this person. Okay. I feel like it's just an energy of just kind of both waiting a little bit here, being patient. Um, but I feel like you're, I don't think you're going to have to wait a huge amount of time. Uh, I do feel some of you have the scenario of unrequited love. Mm-hmm. But yeah, those of you where you have a, a, cr a crush coming in, you're going to be wise maybe because of this energy too. So yeah, back and forth, should I or shouldn't I? Let's have a look at the three of emotion. Yeah, someone's changing their focus. So now we have some, the feminine energy of the queen of wands. It's an energy of knowing what you want, being confident. So it's an energy of being confident about a decision. So I feel like you're weighing the pros and the cons so you can make a confident decision. If it is a reconciliation or reunion of some kind, it could be just a reunion energy where it's just, you know, friendships. This could go somewhere, though. Like I feel, this is two people thinking about each other. There's something mutual going on here where you both have changed. I feel like you're just kind of doing you here, Taurus. Okay. I do, but I feel the Queen of Wands is showing up here, unless you're the masculine, but I feel with the feminine, it's just someone who's just kind of, you know, focusing on other things while they wait, definitely feeling confident, positive, high vibration. I don't really feel it's more of a, it could be while you're waiting, somebody new might come in, may come in. It's very possible. Yeah, I do see someone focusing a lot on work, um, perfecting their craft, you know, just someone keeping busy, someone who's good at entertaining themselves, hobbies, crafts, but it's an energy of building, putting in some work. You know, this could be someone you work with, you know, like I feel there's other people, there's this three of emotion. Now, this is often energy of waiting for an event, waiting for um, something to happen here. Yeah, I can't, it's trying to tell me something. I can't quite put my finger on it. Yeah, see Taurus energy. See the way someone conducts themselves. This is someone who's, I, I feel it's yourself. I feel like you're, you know, focusing on work. I feel like you're um, definitely looking out for yourself here. But I also feel like you're very confident about something. Yeah, you're definitely thinking, you're making, you know, it's like maybe comparing someone or weighing the pros and the cons so that you feel confidence about having faith you have in a, in a decision here. Yeah. So I actually feel it's like both people think of the same thing, though. 
This is so interesting, yeah? It has to do with someone making a move. Who makes the first move? So if this is just somebody that goes to the same place you go where it's a habit, place where you go, part of your schedule, routine, could be any place. Um, yeah, I, I feel this is two people are in each other's heads. But, it, you know, with the, the, that Pisces energy, the hanged man energy, all tied up. <laughs> so somebody all tied up in knots here, you see, feeling emotion. So, yeah, so it's definitely, like I say, I feel this is somebody here who definitely wants love, longing for love. Definitely someone longing for love. And it could be someone who's missing you. It very well could be. If you don't go to, to places, if you've had a change of schedule, routine, habit, lifestyle, where you no longer go to these places and someone's hoping to, you know, um, catch up to you or to connect with you, yeah something have you changed where you go your lifestyle habits also changing the way you conduct yourself but this is habits lifestyle habits or with the world up there it looks like some of you have kind of changed you're focusing on other things looks like work yeah it's keeping yourself busy let's have a look at the ace of inspiration yeah, so there's definitely an energy of balance here. See, balance between head and heart. Yeah, keeping those emotions in check a little here. Yeah, see, a cycle ending, whether things will go in your favor. I feel like we got two people kind of analyzing, thinking, and strategizing here. So I don't know if this is an, it definitely doesn't feel like an X energy. It feels more like someone who goes to the same place as you go. Uh, maybe you've had a conversation. They're definitely fast moving, but this is somebody who I feel is releasing what no longer serves, and that has to do with that night of inspiration. So it's somebody who's, you know, definitely in their feelings. Somebody may have caught some feelings here, too, very quickly with the night of inspiration. So, yeah, but I don't feel like, this doesn't feel like an X energy. It feels more like just somebody that you've met, someplace where you go, uh, that's a habit, part of your routine, schedule, lifestyle. But I feel like you've gone through some changes. But I see two people waiting, looking elsewhere. Tell me about that three of wands. Yeah, see, now it gives me the two of wands. If there was another one, there'd be another three, I'm telling you. But yeah, I do feel it has to do with taking something to the next level. Some of you are just on a different path. Like I feel changes, you're on a different path. So I don't know whether this is somewhere where you just kind of went your separate ways, you're on your own paths, where you kind of connected and nothing really came of it. Whoever it is, there's some thinking about this. Yeah, it's, it's more like you just connected and maybe you were just friends, I don't know, and you kind of just went your separate ways. But there's, I mean, we've got the king and queen of swords here, yeah? See, there's the opportunity. This person wants to offer you this cup. Yeah, now it could be, like I say, two people waiting for the other person, okay, to approach them. Also, too, you know, it's about being approachable, making sure that you're approachable. Maybe put the swords down a little bit, both of you. <laughs> In other words, get out of your heads. <laughs> yeah, it really does look like there's somebody here who's catching feel. If they are a friend, they're definitely in their feelings they've caught some feelings here and i definitely it does look like it's kind of mutual so but it's like you're both waiting for the other person to make a move see who's going to make the first move yeah see it has and i also see the way someone conducts themselves um, definitely to do with a contract see some kind of an agreement here so you could be like i say it could you could even have a new job or something you're focused on you might not see this coming, though, but I really feel, for most of you, this is mutual energy, where you both kind of feel the same way, but both waiting for the other person to make that first move. And while there's all this thinking, is, is this person right for me? So what it's saying is decide now what it is you want because it's come to fruition, okay? So if, if you have changed, you haven't been going out or you've changed places where you're going or some habits in your life, um, you know, uh, schedules, routines, things like that. 
Now, this person's probably trying to find out. They could be talking to other people, too, around you, people that you know, to find out what's going on with you. But they are strategizing and analyzing. They are looking at things from every angle, every perspective. Some of you, it's just a person, when I see that, it's someone just checks you out. Someone checking you out. So... Yeah. Now, when I do see the Leo energy and I see the star, it's sometimes a person who's very popular. Maybe you're more popular or they're more popular or you feel this person's out of your league. They get a lot of attention. They have a lot of people around. But I'm not so sure with that Queen of Wands that someone's focused on that right now. Uh, for the feminine, I really feel this is someone who's just kind of on a little bit of a different path right now. Maybe temporary. I mean, it's hard to say. But someone's definitely focused on money with the seven of pentacles, you know, something to do with timing, you know, the need to be patient, whether something will pay off. And it's also when I see that being at the right place and the right time, and that's why I feel somebody where you used to go, this person's going there. So, yeah, I just feel as though you're just focused on other things. Maybe you just felt like you waited and this person's not coming. Maybe you're heading down another path. Yeah, I do see a uh, very busy time, things speeding up. See, this is someone who maybe feels like it's too late. They waited too long. You may have moved on here. I do see opportunities coming in. Some of you may have several. That's why I feel some of you, there's the energy where you're comparing someone to someone else. See, there it, there it is again. <laughs> Back and forth, should I or shouldn't I? You see? Yeah. Both of you are doing the same thing. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, see, there it is. Teamwork, cooperation, compromise, compatibility, the things you have in common. See, common energies. Yeah, I feel it's definitely an energy of create. I see creative energy. Being creative, being a team player. But there is the energy of three. That's why I feel some of you have other opportunities. Yeah, you're only going to wait so long. I mean, I, I really feel, you know, even the Queen of Wands only waits around so long and then other opportunities coming in. But I do see this uh, energy of two people actually having a conversation uh, back and forth. Something's happening very suddenly. I see the start of something new very quick. I don't, honestly, some of you, I don't think you're going to see it coming. Yeah? Someone's working, working from home. Uh, or working on their home but you can see the energy of taking this to the next level somebody here's thinking about commitment they're thinking about partnering up they see you as a team player they see you as someone creative uh, this is two people you know coming together bringing your skills see this is two people who have skills wisdom knowledge coming together to build more so it's what you're not good at, they're at, so I do see balance. See, this is two people who balance each other out. If this is a friend, you're both thinking the same thing. If you're thinking you want, you know, maybe you're waiting for this person to offer you this cup, their feelings, you see. They're, they're thinking about it because there's the cup way up there with that king of cups, you see. Yeah, it's time for someone to get out of their head and take action and stop spending all their time thinking. Tell me about this balance. See, it's head and heart. See, there's a head and heart decision. Maybe even a little struggle between head and heart here too. Yeah, somebody's definitely, oh yeah, you got the king of wands. See, you've got this person coming in here. They're definitely... Well, it could be they're very attractive, vice versa. See, you have something in common, whether you realize it or not. It could be just, it's energy. It could be energies in your chart. Um, but you know what's so interesting is both people have this cr creative energy. Both people are creative. You have lots in common. You may even have friends and family in common. Okay, you may have the same spiritual belief. I'm not seeing things that aren't in common. I'm seeing things that are. This person's wanting to go down this path, but who's making the first move? I think this person knows. I see old school rules. They need to make the first move. I don't see the Queen of Wands doing it. Queen of Wands will. Queen of Wands, you know, is definitely somebody who's not afraid of taking action, um, taking a risk. But I just feel like you're busy doing other things. 
see house and home, your financial foundation, your lifestyle. I uh, see reasons to celebrate. See lots of beautiful positive energy here. Yeah, I just see busy, a lot of busy energy here. That's I don't know if you're going to see this coming. It's like something you're waiting for and then you get busy doing other things and then all of a sudden there it is. You know, you've got the what we have is people uh, going through the energies of the kings and the queens here. See, it's energy of leveling up. We've got a couple people leveling up here. You know, King of Wands is someone who's not afraid to go after what they want. They're definitely attractive. They're used to things going in their favor. And then we have the Queen of Swords there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got the... Let's look at this energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you've got similar energies in your chart. You're very, very similar, but yet you're a little bit different. This person's definitely a little more emotional, but they obviously, like I say, head and heart decision again. But I do feel this is someone who, yeah, I, I feel there's somebody who keeps, kind of keeps that to themselves. Just a little bit here. They are stable financially. They're definitely somebody who's, confident creative i do see this person making some kind of plans so you've got similar energies you've got very similar energies here taurus now this could be the taurus coming from a taurus masculine but i'm seeing this here too queen of wands so if you are watching this and you have a taurus moon or rising your person may be a taurus yeah this is definitely an energy of two different perspectives, the masculine and the feminine energy again. <laughs> it's been happening a lot lately. It's really hard to, to read it. Maybe I'll have to start doing one of my old style readings that kind of breaks it up. Maybe I'll do that for next week. So I do feel the cycle ending, things going in someone's favor. See, this is the timing is right. See, this is somebody who's I feel... Um, no longer procrastinating and it could be someone comparing you to someone else as well so it, it, it it's like you're both doing the same things here um, i do see this person offering the cup i see the queen of swords being wise and questioning talking communicating uh, but i do see some very see there it is looking at it see taurus or some of you just sometimes when i see these it tells me it's somebody with taurus in their chart so if you are watching this, you're a Taurus moon or rising, and you're watching the Taurus reading, this very well could be uh, some messages here for you by the looks of it. But this is an energy of the, the Princess of Pentacles, just kind of, you know, looking at the details of the situation, someone grounding themselves, okay, someone who's patient. So I do feel there's an energy of being patient, but being wise, making a head and heart decision. Yeah, see? I think there's someone here who's going to show you that they like you. Maybe give you a little gift. They could give you something you hold in your hand to show you they like you. But it's also that cup you're looking at. You're looking at that. It has to do with love, feelings, emotions, a bond, a connection, taking this to the next level, the physical attraction, the chemistry. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, a little Pisces energy. You both may even have Pisces in your chart. But it's also two people who are wise, trusting their inner knowing. It's like you already know the answers you're seeking. You already know, okay? You're very compatible. But again, we have two people who think a lot. Two people in their head. Yeah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. The, the stronger energies, um, definitely there's Gemini. I mean, maybe someone here is a Gemini Taurus cusp. I get that a lot in the Gemini readings. I probably have some viewers that come that have that energy. Oh. And maybe it's the opposite. You flip that over, what do you get? You get uh, Gemini. What comes after Gemini? Cancer. Um, after Libra would be Scorpio. Could be as somebody with Scorpio in their chart as well. I'm just looking at the energy because it's telling me this is very much energy and the things in your chart that make you, the things you have in common that make you compatible. 
No, but I definitely can see an energy of two people, what they bring to the table, your skills, see what you're good at, they're not good at, vice versa. So it's like you balance each other out. But someone's definitely, you know, should I, shouldn't I? Is this person right for me or could we compatible? You know? But I see two people building each other up. There's something building between you and it feels like the energy, a lot of passion. I feel drive and ambition here as well. So... Yeah, if it isn't someone you already know coming back around, it's definitely a someone who you've had a conversation with, you see eye to eye, like a soulmate, you know, somebody that, you know, you enjoy talking to. And it may be just when you go out to particular places, this person's kind of goes there at the same time as you. But if you haven't been going anymore, the feminine, well, even the masculine, this person could be going there waiting. And I do think they'll keep kind of, you know, going there until they connect. This is someone who sees marriage material. They're thinking about that. There's definitely happiness and joy to do with a house and a home. Uh, commitment, taking it to the next level. This is someone who's definitely in a hurry. So that tells me it's someone who definitely doesn't want you to get away. See, but it has to do with making a move. Somebody needs to make that first move. Who's going to start it? <laughs> That's what it's all about. So let's grab some charms. Oh, Taurus. You know, when I get that feminine, masculine perspective in a reading, it is so difficult to uh, figure out what both people are thinking. But, I mean, with this one, it was confusing at first, and now I can see you're just thinking a lot of the same things, which is common when you have an attraction to someone. People kind of think of similar things. I mean, that's kind of a given to a, a degree. But it has to do with lifestyle habits, the way you conduct yourselves, your day-to-day -day lives, the things you have in common. See, I feel talking, communicating, being on the same page. This is someone who sees that. They want to take this to the next level, whether it's a friend or somebody that maybe you you have a date with and you connect. But whatever this person's releasing, it's this. this. See, this is someone who's leveled up. They're letting go of this rushing in and out. This is someone who's ready to commit. They're ready to commit. They're financially ready. They're grown up. See, they're financially ready. They're no longer a knight. They're in that king energy. So there you go. Let's grab some charms. Let me look at this two of cups energy. The letter P. Yeah, see, long-term planning, manifesting, strength, the infinity symbol. There's the transformation. See, someone's feelings are changing. If it is a friend, their feelings are changing. They're catching feelings, okay, like big time. Possibly falling in love. <laughs> yeah, this is everything this person, and it could be, if you have Aquarius in your chart, you're thinking this is everything, the person, everything you could ever want. It could be someone just having that realization too. This is everything I could ever want, this friend. It could even just be an acquaintance for that matter. But yeah, see, someone's going through some kind of change, that transformation. So I feel it could be somebody with Scorpio here too. Let's have a look at that star. Yeah, see, there's some kind of communication. There's the bird. Those are The birds are always about communicating. Somebody's going to reach out. See, they're going to reach out here. But it's who's reaching out to who. I still feel that's... It's like you're both waiting for the other person to make a move. Yeah. There's the letter F. See, there's two hearts. See, there's it's an energy of two people both longing for love. Two people who I feel have pretty much everything they need. Mm-hmm. Let's have a look at the seven of pentacles. Yeah, see, there it is. Someone's releasing things that no longer serve. They're releasing willingly. So it could be someone letting go of another person too. But I don't really feel that so much. I feel it's more just things with it. It's internal. Okay, things that no longer serve them because they are longing for love. But yet we have two hearts connected here. All right, what is this King of Swords up to? See the letter T, the letter Q, the letter S. Let me grab a card. What is this person's intentions? Oh, this is the one. Yeah, they're passionate, I'll tell you. Very passionate, very creative. 
definitely physically attractive but there this is an energy of the start of something this passionate new beginning that's their intentions so this is someone who wants to take it to another level the physical attraction the physical connection oh yeah they're analyzing it even strategizing so let's have a look at this this is definitely two people at a crossroads. This is two people going to come together. Now, if this is someone that you knew and you kind of went your separate ways, it didn't really go anywhere. Okay. It's where the two of you could come together. But I'm not seeing the Six of Wands. I have to generally see the Six of Wands because that's my energy of two people who go their sep separate ways, willingly release each other to be free, to go down their own path. And then it's the boomerang effect where you come back together. But I'm not really seeing that here. So, two of wands. Yeah, so I do see the unicorn. So this has to do with someone being confident, being strong, and taking the opportunity. You see, it has to do with taking it to the next level. But it's somebody, I feel, who could be waiting for the next opportunity to do so. See, there it is. See, definitely some... Uh, tortoise energy Taurus <laughs> doesn't have to be um, you could have someone here who's Taurus Virgo Capricorn too yeah tell me about this king of uh, Pentacles energy yeah. this is definitely someone who's who's thinking they're looking at the details of a situation see you two of you're gonna talk you're gonna keep it kind of simple at first see just keeping it kind of simple at first yeah, see, I uh, see, this is where I feel, just a simple conversation. Not Neither one of you are giving too much, none of emotions. You're both being cautious. You're keeping your feelings to yourself. Yeah, I like this, though. <laughs> it's like you already know the person you're seeking. You're trust, both trusting your inner knowing. It's like you already know, okay? <laughs> yeah. This person's definitely, you know, they're a little apprehensive here, but because the king is here, like I say, their intentions is to just kind of play it safe. And it has to do with putting in effort, communicating, see, taking time, being patient, communicating with each other. So there's that energy of a little back and forth, you know, they're definitely a little cancer energy. So we have cancer Pisces, possibly Scorpio for some. And then we have the energy of this person who's determined. See, they're not, they're trying not to be ruled by their emotion, you see, but they're determined to come in to have success here. You see? Yeah, they're trying not to show that they, you know, their feelings right off the get go until they're sure how you feel. <laughs> I feel it's just, you're going to keep it simple for a while. You know, it's just where it's, it does look like it could be just a crush, too. I mean, you know. Yeah, so there it is. There's the justice card playing out. See, doing things right, coming in right, being fair. You see, back and forth. Is this person right for me? So this could end up um, where a cycle ends and a new cycle begins. So it looks like a whole new path. Two people taking it to the next level. I see a commitment. Com I feel committing to the path. Not so much marriage and commitment. It's more like committing to this path. Okay, two people being having faith that and confident that they can make the right choice to start it. That's what it's all about. So, yeah, just being fair, balanced. See, two people. Um, you're both seeing the same thing. You're both. You know, it's like this. This could be the one kind of energy. And sometimes, you know, we have, there now we have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. I'm not seeing the Queen of Cups yet. But I do see the Queen of Pentacles, yourself here, Taurus, unless the masculine is Taurus. And not to say that you both couldn't be, but Capricorn and Virgo energy. But I feel the Queen of Pentacles is looking at the details. See, the Queen of Pentacles is now leveling up. We, first, we had that princess energy. So I feel like you're looking at the situation. Is this person right? But the queen of swords, it's an energy of someone coming in right. See, Trump, someone who treats you right, someone who's fair. You might be comparing this person with someone else too. Like I say, a little reminiscing, comparing them to someone else. Yeah, someone who maybe didn't treat you right. But I feel 
I actually feel this looks pretty good. I feel like this is someone coming in right. Yeah, see, there it is. Empress energy, mastering all the energies of the queens. Taurus, that would be yourself as the feminine then in this reading. It doesn't have to be, but, you know, I do see this other person. And I do feel they're determined. They're definitely not being ruled by their emotions. Definitely you're not. See, uh, the feminine is definitely not being ruled by their emotions. You are the one with the power. Okay, so it's energy of letting this person, uh, old school rules, letting this person feel like they're in control. Let them start it. So if you have somebody who is kind of old school rules, okay, uh, maybe they were raised that way where it's the guy who starts it, then you have to be patient and kind of wait. Some people, some masculines like to be the one to feel like, you know, it's an energy of needing to feel like they're in control, you know. Yeah, so I do feel letting go of control, um, maybe not being the one to start it. It may not be easy if you've got Aries, Leo, or Sag in your chart, okay? Yeah, it's faster moving energy, but I do see someone releasing things that no longer serve. So see, they're leveling up. They know what they want. They're not afraid to go for it. Uh, I do feel they're confident, but it's coming in confident too. Wow. So let's have a look at this... Uh, the power card, yeah, the letter R, and there's that horse energy, someone coming in pretty fast. See, this is where this could go somewhere. Things start to speed up here. But it's also energy of someone who, like I say, if you feel like someone's not coming in right, you might decide to put on the brakes. But I don't feel so feel that way. Why? Because the Empress is open. I don't see you putting on the brakes. If they do, uh, I don't see it, not with the horse here. I just feel full steam ahead with this one. Yeah, I just feel like they're just not being ruled by their emotion. They're not going to communicate their feelings right away, but they will. They're going to show you by giving you little gifts, doing nice things. I do think this person, you know, there could be children involved or something here too. Maybe blended family, single parent energy. You know, it could be a little of that too. But it could be someone who's longing for love, children and family. So that's where I feel. Maybe you're both something you and another person want. Yeah, I feel just, you know, committing to this path. Justice. There it is. G-R. The letter N. And there's the frog. See, there's that leap of faith. Leaps and bounds. Yeah. Someone's taking a leap of faith here. This person's just going to go for it. And it's like I say, let them think they're in control. You're actually the one that's in control. Okay. But let this person just do what they need to do. And yeah, you've got love coming in here. I definitely see um, love. And uh, if you have choices, definitely you're comparing someone to someone else from the past, possibly. But yeah, somebody who didn't come in right, didn't treat you right. Well, this person's not the same. So somebody more on your level regardless. So let's just have another look at this love. Oops. There it is. Oh, yeah. You're manifesting each other here. Yeah. See, you both have all the tools, the information, everything you need. See, communication. It's You're going to, I see a lot of talk, a lot of communication, things moving fast. I see this person inviting you to something, offering you their cup, this feeling. I feel like you're open. And I do feel the Empress gives and receives. So, yeah, I'm not going to pull it anymore. That Queen of Cups will come out. It's all right here with the Empress. So I wish you the best. Do take care. Okay. Manifesting, mirroring. I mean, every single card that you need to be here. Uh, for this to turn into a committed relationship is here. Okay? The only thing, the only thing is, is don't try to control anything at the speed at which things go. Okay? If you try to control this person or you over, if they become overwhelmed, okay, they may put on the brakes. So if you don't want that to happen, just let them know you're open. Just stay balanced. Be, the Empress has all the energy of the Queen's. It's all the most positive energy of the queens. Well, the negative is there too, but the empress is someone who's healed. The empress is someone who's mastered uh, all this energy. So, yeah, like I honestly, I feel some of you have manifested this. <laughs> yeah, by not chasing. 
Okay, by not chasing, by focusing on yourself, keeping yourself entertained, doing other things, your house, your home, maybe starting things. Some of you may have a new house and a home or something you're focused on too. Maybe even a new job or something for some of you. But yeah, see, there's that caution, being cautious. See, both of you, there's a night of emotion. Uh, cautious, careful what you wish for. Only offering each other a cup, just keeping it simple at first till you, you know, get to know each other. But this person definitely, like I say, it's taking something to the next level. I'm not seeing any running or anything, and that's what I like. So... If it is a person coming back around, they're definitely changed for the better, okay? Or like I say, there's just changes uh, for yourself. You definitely know your worth and value, but I also feel this person too. I see a lot of self-respect. Uh, I see somebody possibly admiring you, maybe the way you conduct yourself around your friends, your family, your morals, your values. So, And I do feel like it's vice versa. So it's a really, really lovely energy. So whatever it is you're doing, if you are already dating this person and you've drank from each other's cup, which means you've shared some feelings, emotions, you you kind of get each other for the most part, okay? I feel this could go someplace. Do take care, okay? And we'll see you soon.